So this lab demo is going to demonstrate chemical weathering and the process of breaking down a rock using acids to chemically change the interior of the rock chemistry. So I have here two moles of hydrochloric acid, very strong acid uh, borrowed from the chem lab. And I have these limestone chips right here as my sedimentary rock, my chemical rock and here is my ultramafic on the left ultramafic igneous rock as a comparison to what happens when exposed to acid or in this case very strong acid so i use a pipette and just taking out a little uh, sample little squeeze of the uh, hydrochloric acid in the pipette or pipette and just again show you what's going to happen on the pyrotite the ultramafic intrusive igneous rock and there's very little reaction there's no real chemical reaction the acid kind of just runs off the outside of the rock and there's no real breakdown of chemistry that's really going on there there could be some um removal of uh chemical exchanges but nothing like this so watch this get this awesome reaction where the acids added to the the limestone rock made mostly of calcite, the so CaCO3, and this beautiful reaction, this very energetic exothermic reaction of the acid interacting and touching the limestone. And you have these bubbles coming off, which is the CO2. You have some liquid coming off, which is the water. And you have this beautiful chemical reaction between the hydrochloric acid and the limestone. And eventually, if you keep doing this, the limestone will actually start to dissolve and actually the acid will will create and form a new compound from the limestone and the acid. So this is a great lab to do in front of the students to see the chemical reactions and explain what's going on. Obviously, I don't u let the students use the, uh, the acid. I would demonstrate with goggles and, and, and gloves, but the students would observe and then get to know the reaction and have that experience in their minds of what happens when exposed when these certain cemetery rocks made from certain minerals are exposed to this level of acid and how this relates to reality where rainwater meteorite water is slightly acidic and over a long period of time this same reaction can happen but obviously very slowly and in smaller amounts so a quick demo, a quick close-up of what happens when you drop a limestone chip or a small amount of limestone into a bath of two moles of hydrochloric acid. Here we go. So you get this instant reaction. The surface area is covered with this acid and the reaction is immediate. The color changes due to the release of the products based on this chemical reaction with the CO2 and the water and this new substance that is being created because the acid is breaking down this limestone, breaking down the calcite and the elements and breaking the bonds with the electrons and the coloration of water shows that there is a reaction and a new solution, new substance being created in place of the limestone, which you'll see at the end is a big sludge of this new solution. It's no longer limestone. It is now a new sludge chemical compound.